Is Bitcoin going to crash even more? In this video, we'll be looking into the recent price prediction of Bitcoin made by Richard Hart and see how that affects the launch of Pulse Chain. Hello and welcome to AB Crypto. If you are new to our channel, just hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to receive any new video updates. You can also follow us on TikTok and Instagram at underscore AB Crypto underscore. And if you want to read some more about today's topic in our blog, you can get the links down in the description below. Also, sending the AB Crypto team a super thanks donation goes a long way for helping us to continue to provide content for you. We thank you for your support. Without further ado, let's get started. The world is a different place now from what it used to be. The internet has changed how people used to interact with one another. Now, cryptocurrencies are changing the global financial system by giving people a new medium of financial storage and an asset class in which they can invest. And while doing so, they can achieve far better results than what banks, bonds, or even precious commodities offer. There are tons of cryptocurrencies in the market, but very few stand out, which includes Bitcoin and Ethereum, both of which were revolutionary when they first launched. However, as more people are using them now, their network is taking a toll. And this is where new entrepreneurs come in, because different entrepreneurs are solving various issues related to those faced primarily by Ethereum, some are developing scalable consensus mechanisms, while others are looking into finding more ways to increase transaction speed. The race is on, and on top comes Richard Hall. Hart and his ecosystem. Hart is a very different person, but for many, that hardly matters. What matters to them is him fulfilling his promises, and without any doubt, history has proven he's a man who likes to keep his word. We've seen this happen with Hex, and we will see this happen with both Pulse Chain and Pulse X. And if you want to get ahead of the game for Pulse X, make your way to PulseXTokens.com. Here you can also list new token projects for free, vote for your community's project, and utilize their free Pulse X faucet for 100 Pulse X per day that will be queued up and given to you at launch all in exchange for simply getting their name out there. You can use my personal links down below and can become an affiliate yourself to earn 20% from any users who join using your link. Now, coming back to our main question, what is the recent price prediction of Bitcoin made by Richard Hart and how does it affect the launch of Pulse Chain? While talking at PulseCon 2022, Hart first made it clear that bear markets do not last forever and will always come to an end. And so will this one. This bear market is one where people think Think there's something very wrong with cryptocurrencies or that they're a Ponzi scheme. But realistically, that's not the case as the prices will climb even higher from their previous highs, as typically happens when the bears go to sleep. In the speech, Hart said he's not bullish on the crypto market, at least not yet. This is because, in Hart's opinion, Bitcoin is going down even more because for him, there are some technical things that say likewise. And since most people don't want to see more blood in the market, aka Bitcoin below 20k, they don't want to talk about the reality but wishful thinking doesn't work in the crypto world. So for Hart, it is evident that his call for Bitcoin is, it won't respect the 20k bottom in this bear market. And just like its traditional bottoms as seen previously, it will touch 11k or an 85% dump from its all-time high. When this happens, there will be a short panic in the market, but many will use this as an opportunity to buy more Bitcoin, thus helping the price grow again, especially if the feds raise interest rates. As Hart puts it, that would just be very nice, because as as long as the feds are quantitatively tightening prices, it will have a toll on the price of the stock market as it pushes down the stock prices, which affects the price of Bitcoin, which pushes down Ethereum, and so it goes. And once the feds stop doing that, the opposite happens. Also, for Richard Hart, this might not always be the case because with Bitcoin, there's no higher throughput, no low fees, no roadmap, and no good anonymity. So as Bitcoin does not have all of these things, which can become very well reason it might not remain as cool as it is today because once people start to realize how vital these things are, they will focus elsewhere. This is why Hex ran up 60x versus Bitcoin when it got dumped from 65k to 55k. Now, the peak of Bitcoin was on the 10th to 11th of November of 2021. In just two months, it will be a whole year. And since the previous bear market lasted for 365 days, this might just be it. The bear market might come to an end in mid-November. Hart also hinted that we're figuring out the consensus of Ethereum, which recently got upgraded to Ethereum 2.0. Therefore, right now, his devs are fully executing this upgrade and fixing it with Pulse Chain, which upon completion will just be glorious, as it will work brilliantly with the consensus mechanism that Pulse Chain has. So, if anything, this is a big hint that Pulse Chain may very well go live within just two months. This is because all of these new people will get the chance to purchase a massive dip, which will continuously see slow price increases, ultimately helping to spread more hype in the market rather than
than panic. When Hart got into crypto, he bought the top, which was 30k for Bitcoin then, and it went down 95% in just a few days. Thus, for obvious reasons, he doesn't want that to happen for his community. And as Hart said in his interview on BitBoy Crypto that with software, you cannot be sure unless you're sure. So he's afraid to give an exact date, but from his body language and his speech at PulseCon 2022, it is very obvious that the next two months are very important, at least for the main net's launch of Pulse Chain. Lastly, what do you think? Do you think Bitcoin will touch 11K or not? Like always, do share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comment section down below. This brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you guys found this video resourceful and entertaining. And if you have any more information to add to improve to the content in this video, please do so down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you loved watching this video, send us those likes. We thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video.